Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Long Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. Today I bring you a state of the game video. Today I'm going to be talking about the state of the game. It is 12-18-2019 patch day. The winter days have come and what do we have? Well, we have a lot of really cool stuff. We showed you kind of my first initial impressions on the test account and that sort of thing. Well, today, some pretty big milestones, right? I hit level 80, as you can see up here. Um, I got the level 80 pack, gonna do some farming. We've got the new free reward that is coming. Come back within 24 hours of the game to open a mythic chest worth $10 of completely free of charge. That's gonna be really cool. So we're gonna see that pack. Uh, we got tournaments going on we got the new shop of course um all that stuff's really really cool um I, i'm really really excited about this patch now there's been some controversy i've been saving up obviously i don't have hilda in my store so i don't have that really cool stuff here curse madness outcast shackles destroyer of dreams these types of things flame essences which i need uh, all really really cool i really enjoy looking in here um at the different shop so I can go and look and see what I can farm and where I can farm things. For example, we're looking at these illusions of victory. Those are really cool as well. Really super nice. Right? A thousand drag coins here, but look, we can go in here. You can also get them in tournaments. You can get them in stars. So that's a really good place. And you can also farm them here in invasions of demons. So that's also really awesome. Uh, some other, you know, tough plain, tough things to get fragment for the uh, martyr. Excellent. We have a whole, shard here demons 4 4 that we can get invasion of the demons 4 4 uh, 4 6 and then of course market and you can buy this from the market and you can buy the shards uh there as well and then you have a node where it, it's actually here and you can get uh it looks like some potency runes as well and so and that's really nice so that's that's really cool stuff um i i'm really enjoying that as well uh if we look at um some of the other you know curse madnesses I mean, currently, if we look at Xantara for me, she needs just to get to gear nine. She needs two Curse Madnesses uh, fully decked out, right? We can farm them. Here we go. See, so we can get them out of tournaments. We can get them on uh, 812, which is some high level stuff, but we can get them there um, as well as we can buy them in the market and out of the store, which is really, really good. We've always been able to farm um, you know, the Bayes Yee's Life Essences. Those are good here, same places, but once again, we can see all the places that we can get it. And this is really, really nice. These are great quality of life sorts of things. I super enjoy those. So as you may have seen my last video, uh, the patch is out. Uh, I think you may have heard some other, you know, nerd this talking about this, Carnifex talking about it. Uh, maybe gone to uh, Metatho's channel and seen, you know, is it possible to solo the raid? Obviously, it is possible to solo the raid if you're on a test account with, you know, certain characters and that sort of stuff, right? If you have, if you want to put together, can you solo the entire raid? The answer is no. No, you cannot. Can you solo portions of the raid? Sure, you could solo Solius. You could solo, um, you could solo Hard Orc, but should you well the real question is can you right now currently it's sitting i've just hit 80 today i've been playing the game let's go ahead and look we can look exactly how many days i've been playing the game it's taken me let's see here we go i think we got to go into daily quests go to achievements i have been playing the game for 60 days so for a total of 60 days i've been playing the game i've hit level 80 i I've, I've told everyone here i've spent money in the game i i you know i bought the pack today the, the level 80 pack i bought every single one of those packs that have come out i think they're very valuable they're very nice uh right but i am in no way shape or form able to build a team that can solo the raid i mean you look at my master duo right he's gear eight right i use him as a part of my solius team because i'd like to be able to land the slow uh, i'm a little worried about being able to land slow to be perfectly honest with you now i have potency here but i'm gonna have to take his speed runes off right his speed runes off and put on um you know 
put on uh, potency runes just to be able to get over the 78 uh, percent that I need in potency. If you look at my character right now, his potency is 20%. Uh, I have to actually take the character, spend the time to get the potency runes, right? And then I have to make sure that I have the right mods. I have to have, he has to have a good enough speed to be able to go faster um, so we can actually get it off. And even then, he's only going to land at 50% of the time. Yeah, right, it's only going to hit 50% of the time anyway. So, and then what am I going to use Master Duo for anyway? I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with it. It's like, I think the change is good for the game. I really do. I think any more than that is bad for the game, um, primarily because what am I going to use this character for anyway? Um, what are we going to use this character for anyway? I The only thing I'm using Master Duo for right now is the raid. Nothing else. I Nothing else. I, he has no viability in PvP. I don't have any of his other skills up. I don't even have... I don't even have him to gear 9, right? And I am currently using him to do about 18% or sorry, 14% on Soleus in gear seven or in, in T seven. But as of right, as of today, I did an attack. I did an attack on the T seven heroic raid on Soleus. And I did 470,200 damage. That's all I've done on the raid. That is my job. That is what I've done. Right. But that was before the patch went live. I have not done anything to fix him, and obviously I'm going to have to. It's going to lower his damage. It's going to lower his ability to do other things. And I may not even bother with it because I can bring in a different character or some other character that might help out. Certainly he helps a ton, but why not run, you know, Snorri, right? Once again, it's the kind of same thing. I can run Snorri, but my Snorri is not great. Gear 8, um, you know. If we're talking about other characters needed to do the solo run, right? Venomate, right? My Venomate, gear eight, right? I, I mean, I'm not going to invest a ton of time and money um, into trying to solo the raid when I'm getting raid rewards now. I'm clearing T7 now. I'm in a guild that can do it. Um, and it, there's, not a, there's not a reason to solo the event um, when you can get, when you can get, into a guild that can do it if you manage your roster well you can do a lot of damage and still be able to perform quite admirably even at lower gear counts um but i'm a little worried now that i may not be able to do that uh, i may not be able to do as well with my hard orc see so we look at hard orc here his potency is who i'm currently using his potency is 3978 i i'm obviously want to you know to have his ability blocks uh, land, um, and I've put, put potency runes on him, 15% here, another uh, potency rune, but I may end up having to take his damage set off just to be able to land the potency rune. I hope not. I hope that it'll still land. But in, in the test account, it's easy to do. I have massive amounts of resources. These these runes here if we go in here and we look at just trying to get these runes you know the northwest uh northwest runes if we try to find these northwest runes potency runes right you need these you absolutely have to have them or something and then you have to have them roll potency or some other form it's 20 per battle and you only get five battles and you gotta keep here and refresh and refresh and refresh on the test account we have unlimited basically unlimited resources we can just run them until we get the right things to maximize this sort of thing is is impossible to do unless you spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and you're not at the end of the day it's not worth your time to do because i'm i'm right why would you want to solo the raid when you can do well in the raid and get good rewards and do that sort of stuff with your guild mates right just like i'm doing now right i i'll get my attack i'll get my attack on the dragon and i have a team for that and it'll it'll go pretty well so and then you want to look at the care other characters right duo is one that you kind of need for soleus i think with the slow right and you need another slow character you need is freeze art and he's amazing i've got him all the way geared up and that sort of stuff he's doing great but you look at the other characters in the team venomate's a great character but he's still a tier two character in my book and right that's kind of why he's sitting over here right now i should have him higher but i don't because 
right? What am I going to use him for? I'm not, I don't need him for hard orc. I have a hard orc team that does plenty of damage. I'm not currently hitting hard orc on my, on my team on, in my guild, but I, I have a hard orc team. Well, let's look at the other one. Robin bad, right? Gear six level 57. I mean, what is this guy good for other than leveling him up and having the decreased turn meter? But I don't need him. I don't need him to do this work. I can still do well and post well on Solius without using this character. I, and then I can still, once again, post good numbers. And what am I going to use him for other than the raid? I mean, truly, I'm not going to use him for anything other than the raids. Why am I going to race resources on him? It costs a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of gold expense, farming mats, that sort of stuff to level up a character who allow me to solo the raid, but not allow me to do anything else with him. There's a reason why he doesn't, nobody uses him at 26%. Um, right. Little baddie, right. I honestly think that she's probably going to be the best tank in the entire game. I really do believe that. I think that at the end of the day, she's going to be the best tank in the game. Um, human meta is really, really good right now. I think she makes that team just so much better. Uh, I think she does better than Tromgar does on that team. But look, 100 more shards. Any 100 more shards, we get three, sh 10 shards of her every three days, right? It's 30 more days. And even then, all right, I'm not... I'm going to level her up, but I'm going to use her for PVP because uh, I think that she's going to be good. She might not be the best tank, um, but I think as of right now she is, but no, she's not accessible. So nobody's really using her. Um, the fact that she can blind and, you know, she's got great shield size and she can survive fatal blows and she can come back. She gives blindness for two turns. I think that she is a great tank, especially for Solius in the first run, but not just because of return meter, but because of other attributes that she has, the blind and that sort of thing. So I don't think that, you know, certainly the developers can and have said they are going to try to actively stop solo runs but in actuality i don't think that there's any need for that um and the reason for that is that it's just not practical to do um from a from a player standpoint there is no reason for me to invest in robin bat other than doing a solo team which i don't want to do i've got lots of characters i'd rather invest in plus let's say you're starting out Let's get do with this a little bit different. Let's say you're starting out and you got to start out and you got to start making your characters, right? What should you be going for? You should be doing Rantha, Corcrum, right? Mar. You need to get your orcs up. Why? Because you need to get Solius. Solius is so much more. He, he provides so much more than, oh, I'm not going to do anything. I know I can solo the raid. So I'm just going to go and do Master Duo. I'm going to get Master Duo up. I'm going to level up Little Batty. Wait, oh, I can't get her for several months because I just started the game. So wait a minute. I can't even get her for several months if I just started. So why would I even invest in those other characters? Once you start doing that, right, you're going to start investing in, you know, your, your orcs. Once you do that, you get the Solius. And then once you do that, you start finding, oh, Freezard's really, really good. Kara's really, really good. Oh, I also want Ember. Ember's really good. So I got to invest in, I got to invest in elves, right? By the time you start doing that, there's no more resources to for anything else. You can't spend resources on bad characters to solo a raid that you're going to be able to do very well in anyway. And so I think that there might be a little bit of overreaction to, ah, we can solo the raid. Yeah, you can on a test account. Yeah, you can when you have unlimited resources. I can't. Can't do it on my main account. I'm not even where close. And even if I wanted to, I'd have to pump so much time and effort into characters that are no good for the rest of the game when I'm already completing T7. So why would I do that? I'm not. I'm not going to do it, and I would suggest you not to do it either because there are so many better things to do with your time. There are so many things better to do with your resources. Leveling up Trumgar, right? Getting Patriarch Chi, getting Solius, getting Ember, right? What are you going to... If you're done farming all these, which I currently am... Uh, done farming them, right? I'm farming Major Shot right now, right? Trying to get him all the way up, right? Tournaments, there's Wonderlula. I don't have any, I have one 
tournament thing, right? I want to get her stars. I'm done with hard work, so I'm going to start leveling things out of the shop here and probably getting Wonder Lula completely up. Tower, I've got all these characters, so I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start them. I've saved up currency so I can get Hilda, uh, you know, and so I have no desire to start leveling and putting gear on characters that for a raid that I'm already doing and that I'm doing well in and clearing. Yeah, okay, I can do a ton of raid. I can be number one, sure, but I can probably be number one with less time investment if I just leveled the characters that I already have and the team that I already have. Um, and so I don't see this be, I, I see the soloing not really being an interest. I think it's interesting. That's part of the reason why I put the video out. That's part of the reason why Metho and I put the video. It's interesting, but in actuality, is this ever going to happen? No. Is the state of the game in a good place? Absolutely it is. We are having great experiences. I am super, super excited for the 20th when we find out when the next, what the, uh, Christmas Eve, I apologize, on Christmas Eve, when we find out what the new event is. I'm so excited for that. We know we have some new, another new events coming, right? Right. We have the winter days. We have Hildy coming here. That's really awesome. 12 days from now, or roughly 13 days from now, we have Solius coming back, right? We have new epics. We got the treasure hunt here. We got another practice time, which is cool. So we're going to get some more, you know, little baddie shards, right? And that's going to be awesome. Spend XP tomes. Well, here's the thing. I don't have any XP tomes. I mean, I barely have any. I think I have 50 gold ones that I got today. Um, all right. So the state of the game is really, really good. There are so many more characters to have. Don't, don't farm the, don't farm these characters for, for solos. Cause they're just, that's all you're going to be doing. You're going to be not doing well. You won't do well in arena. You won't be doing well in tower. You're going to hamstring yourself in so many other areas of the game. If that's where you're focusing on, if you're a super whale, all right, you're a super whale and you got everybody anyway, then yeah, you're going to be able to, you're probably going to be able to solo the raid. Good. Yeah, I mean, that's fine, but that's not the most of us. Most of us, even people who have spent a good bit of money in the game, like myself, aren't anywhere close. So that's what I think about the state of the game. We're doing things are going so well. I, I really do uh, appreciate it. I would tell the developers, hey, just pump the brakes. Things are going really well. I think I think the change absolutely needed to be made. Um, it's going to make me rethink what I need to do on, say, like Master Duo. I can make that change without causing me too much headache. Obviously, I would need to still gear him up. Uh, I add some more potency and that sort of thing. But I'm I don't think that we need to freak out. I don't think that this that's going to end the game or anything like that. I think things are going very, very well. I'm very excited. I can't wait for the next, you know, for, to see what's coming down the road. And I hope you share my excitement. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, leave a comment down below. If you think that the state of the game is good or bad or whatever you think about what's going on, but I think you're in a really, really good place. There's going to be a little bit of an adjustment period, but I think this is good. One last time. Don't don't farm, for, don't farm Robin bad and all those guys. They're not worth your time. They're really just bad characters. Master Duo's okay. He's going to have a real significance. Venomate's a great character. Robin bad sucks, right? Kagi sucks. There's, right? There's no reason to have that, use those characters. Um, Foul's actually pretty good. Um, little baddie, you're going to get her eventually, but it's going to take time. And I would level her up because she's amazing in PVP and she's got some, a lot of other stuff going on. Um, so any other questions, drop them down in the comments below and we will see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.